An estimated 20 to 25 percent of this year's maize harvest would be lost, courtesy of the fall armyworm with Kuala County, the latest to be hit. With research on the best way to deal with the armyworm still ongoing, including the possibility of using biological insects to feed on the armyworms, the government believes that available chemicals can help stop the pest from further spreading, as it has done in areas such as Transoia. And now the government is engaging agronomists in and out of the country to offer pesticides at subsidized prices. As we speak now, we are using chemicals, and uh, that's why any surveillance, surveillance has been enhanced. Uh, sensitization has been provided to the farmer so that every morning they check their farms to see whether there is any infestation of this fall armyworm so that we can identify which new areas have, have started experiencing it. We would not want the industry to look at it as a, an opportunity to make business but let us fight it fast and then managing it because once it is with us this pest is going to exist with us now for the long haul. The government will be October assess the need for importation of foodstuffs to cover the deficit as a result of the expected lower harvest. Beth said this as he received chemicals worth 10 million shillings from Bayer East Africa that will be supplied to affected farmers. If it is going to be affected only by 20 to 25 percent, which means 80, 75 to 80 percent of our crop will be in. And so we will use that one, but we will now stretch it and see by what time would we have challenges as far as uh, the cup is concerned, and we'll make the decisions then. Maize in Uganda arrives in Kenya without an entrance. Maize in Tanzania arrives in Kenya without an entrance. So we will factor in whatever will be coming in also from, from the region under the cross-border uh, threat. With that now, we will arrive at a situation where there would be need for importation or, or not. With the debate on GMOs ranging on, the CSA's cotton is the likely first genetically modified crop that could be introduced in Kenya since it is not consumable. What would might be the first to hit the market, in my own view, is PT cotton. Because it's nothing to do with food, but I think that would might be the first genetically modified product in this country. Because why, why lie? The kind of clothes we are wearing now must have been made by PT cotton. So what... <laughs> Even the ones we are wearing now, I am sure 90% of what we are wearing has been made out of PT cotton. And so it, it, is, um, it, it is time we start thinking very critically about uh, PT cotton because it's less controversial. To me, I think that is where the starting point would be as we pursue research in uh, the other food crops. Farmers are being encouraged to keep vigilant report authorities in advance cases of armyworms infestation. Nicholas Ndwati, Business Defined.